as an earthquake shook San Bernardino County a short time ago. That's right. The 5.5 magnitude earthquake was centered near Ridgecrest. Kate Callens, Nicole Comstock is live tonight at Caltech in Pasadena. And Nicole, what are seismologists there saying tonight? Well, we were actually uh, in Hancock Park sitting inside of our live truck when this earthquake hit, Susie. We honestly didn't feel anything, but I know that a lot of people across L.A. County and San Bernardino counties are saying that they did feel this jolting them pretty strong. And seismologists are saying that this was, in fact, an aftershock from last July's Ridgecrest earthquakes that were felt all over the place. So take a look at the map here. This is the area that we're talking about. The magnitude of 5.5 earthquake was centered about 10 miles south of the Searles Valley near Ridgecrest, so the same place as last July's earthquakes. And that's basically in the middle of the desert on the way to Death Valley. Well, people who live in the Ridgecrest and Trona communities are still very much trying to recover from the damage to their homes and schools from last July's magnitude 6.4 and then the 7.1 that hit the following evening. Now, we were out there for about a week last year reporting on that, so I called a couple of the businesses that we spoke with at that time. A liquor store that said they did have some bottles move around this time, but thankfully nothing that fell off the shelves. And then another restaurant that reported no damage this time around. But people there are still certainly very nervous since they've been through this before. Here's seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones and then a woman who lives there, not too far away from this earthquake in Trona. Almost certainly on the same fault that produced, uh, that was involved in the, um, the earthquake back in 2019. That, in fact, involves several different faults. This is within the area that had aftershocks back then and has continued to have aftershocks since then. This is just the largest in quite a while pack of um, TV trays fell on my daughter's foot that got bruised, bruised pretty bad. But uh. for the last year, we've been having, you know, these, these aftershocks. And I feel like they're getting a little bit more frequent. And then, of course, this one was bigger than what we've had. So it is a little bit scary, especially since July is next month. And that woman there, Bridget Cunningham, tells us that just last week she started putting her glassware away in her cabinets again. She had it packed uh, out of that area since last July, started feeling safe enough again to put it back up in her cabinet. And when this hit tonight, she said she started getting calls from family members again saying they couldn't believe that they had another earthquake this strong. Again, seismologists are calling this one an aftershock from last July's two earthquakes. But people there are still very nervous because they've been through this before where they thought the big one was out of the way. And then the next day they felt an even stronger jolt. So we're still gathering information from that area to see if there is any more damage. But thankfully right now, it seems that everyone made it out of this okay. Reporting live in Pasadena, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.